corridors of justice and uh, as talking part the national uh, service was on friday tasked to explain his source of wealth in a case where he is a witness in the 226.9 million shillings national youth service scandal david mbogo Mude, who has worked uh, in the supplies uh, management at Gilgil claimed the he legitimately or rather he legitimately bought his luxury motor vehicles and a plot of land in Rural with proceeds of uh, his uh, personal businesses. Daniel Mbogo Mude before trial magistrate Eunice Nyutu. Mbogo, a storekeeper at the National Youth Service for the past 16 years, was quizzed on how a company, Kitchen Venture, which he is associated with, was able to do business with the NYS. Uh, I want you to tell me like, the average period of time. What is the longest period you take? Because you have to have a longest period. I think the longest that come at close is around three years. Three years. The inspector at the NYS also told the court that while working for the department, at no given time did he come into contact with any local purchase orders or any accounting documents. Mbogo was testifying in a case in which former youth principal secretary Lillian Omolo and 30 others have denied corruption charges in the 226.9 million shillings NYS scandal. The case continues. Elsewhere, the High Court on Friday dismissed an application by former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich seeking to have the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nudin Haji, withdrawn from the 63 billion shillings Aurora and Kimwarel Dam case, missed it in its entirety. In the multi billion shillings dam case, Rotich, alongside four others, are charged with several counts of corruption, including conspiracy to defraud and abuse of office, which resulted in the loss of taxpayers' money in the year 2019. And a witness in the Sharon Otieno murder case who allegedly disappeared for close to 48 hours after testifying at the Milimani Law Courts has presented himself to the Kisi DCI offices. From the look at of things, uh, is fearing for his life. The reason why he switched off his phone is because he didn't even want to be known where he is, because he fears for his life. The Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Kisi Branch Chair Lazarus Obwege said panic had gripped family and colleagues of the witness who is a medic after his phone went off. For Easy Friday, I'm Ben Troenjue.